So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology. Welcome to the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus versus the iPhone 10s Max. So we're going to compare the cameras. In a comparison, we're going to do Galaxy Note 10 Plus shots. Then we're going to do iPhone 10s Max shots. You can see what's the difference between the cameras, which one you like better. And I'm excited to hear your thoughts down below. She's going to be with me, the girlfriend, for some of these shots so you can get an idea of how people's faces work and things like that. Pretty happy over there, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get into it. All right, guys, so here is the iPhone XS Max, and this is the front-facing camera. Now, I can't change the settings, and you might see my head a little cropped out because I got my arm fully extended on this phone because I didn't bring a tripod. I want this to be totally like you're out with your phone, totally realistic. This is the iPhone's recording. I'm almost sure that the audio is not quite as loud as the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is, but we'll have to see uh, when we actually I watch it back. Let me know what you guys think though of the 10s Max's quality. Uh, personally, so far, I'm thinking the faces look a little bit better, uh, a little bit saturated. They look a little bit beautified, but I still kind of like the way they look. Whereas I thought the Note 10 Plus looked a little bit softer, but still very crispy. All right, guys, so you can see that this is the live focus video on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Look at that blur in the background. Like her face is totally in focus and I see nothing but blur. Yes, you can see on her hair, there's a little bit uh, that's like missing it a little bit, but this is still pretty impressive for a smartphone. We're gonna walk kind of towards the camera now and see how it holds onto that blur. So you can see it's gone. So you gotta be relatively close to your subject, but this is just something the 10s Max cannot do. All right, so here's some 4K60 video of her with the 10s Max. Now, it probably looks really good because there is no blur going on in the background. So I'm gonna show you a 4K60 clip with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus in a minute. We're gonna walk back a little bit, but you can see very good natural colors behind her. And you can see her face does look pretty nice as well. We're gonna do this with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus in just a second. You guys can also do some live focus video from the front like this with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and gives you a black background. And there's one more, we'll switch to that right now. But if you kinda like a little glitchy TV thing going on for your Galaxy Note 10 Plus, you can also do this as well. Pretty cool effect. I'm not sure how professional that looks. It probably is more of a fun thing, but you can do it if you like. Okay, so here's some macro video on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I'm gonna use that telephoto for just a minute. And you can see it looks very nice and sharp. Bringing it out, let's come over here. And you can see again, another flower. Now something that's cool about this is that you can go wide angle with this video. Something you can't do because the iPhone XS Max doesn't have a wide angle, although the upcoming successor to that phone will have one. But this is kind of what you can get on close-up video with the Note 10 Plus. Okay guys, so this is some close-up video for iPhone XS Max. I'm gonna kind of show you how it looks when we zoom in. And you kind of get an idea how this looks versus the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Again, it doesn't go as wide and it doesn't go quite in as close, So, but it does look very natural. So let me know your thoughts on this XS Max's macro video. Okay, so this video you're seeing right here from the front of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is 4K video. We are going to switch around now and show you the regular stabilization, and then I'll show you the super steady stabilization. Let's begin with the regular stabilization. All right, guys, so where she's dancing, I'm going to run down the hill right here. Let's go. And you can see that's basically the kind of stabilization we're going to get. I'm going to turn it around and run up the hill now. So you can kind of see what kind of stabilization we get going up the hill. Okay, now we are in super steady mode. So this should be a lot more steady than the first run that we did do. Let's go ahead and do super steady mode now. Okay, we're going to switch it around. We're going to run up that hill now. And there is the super steady mode. Okay guys, this is the iPhone XS Max you're seeing right here. We're gonna flip it around and we're gonna do a stabilization test to see how it, how it does when running down the hill. Okay, again, where she's dancing, I'm gonna run down this hill right here. And there you go. A little bit of jiggle from my hand movements. Let's go ahead and run up this hill now and see how it does here. 
and there you go. Now we're here still on the 10s Max. What you don't get with 10s Max is a super steady mode. So I can't directly compare them there, but you can see that having that mode on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is a definite advantage. Okay guys, so here is the Galaxy Note 10 Plus from the front. This is a nighttime video, you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. And I needed a light here because some of these areas are just so dark that you can't even see any video. So this is kind of how it's going to look at nighttime. I think it's holding on to the quality quite well. Uh, let's take a look at the iPhone XS Max. Okay guys, so here is the iPhone XS Max at nighttime. Again, under the light, but we're still out here. It's like pitch black if you could see over here. And this is kind of what the quality will be like at nighttime for the iPhone XS Max. So go ahead and tell me which one you thought was better down below. Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This is the 4K 60p recording. And this is kind of how it looks at nighttime. Again, we have decent lighting here. Because uh, again, if it's in pitch black environment, you're not going to see anything. As I'll show you right here. If we get too dark, you basically don't see anything on the phone. So this is the nighttime video, pretty decent stuff overall. Okay guys, so here is some video with the 10s Max at nighttime and you can see pretty decent quality. I mean, we are under decent light, but if there's no light, you're not gonna see anything on pretty much any camera. Unless you have like night mode video, but I don't see that. We usually have photo, night mode photos right now. But that's it, that should give you an idea of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus as well as the iPhone 10s Max in a darker environment we're gonna go over here a little bit where it's a little bit darker and you'll see as we shift into a slightly darker environment you see my face starts to get covered so you don't want to go too dark in any smartphone you need decent lighting but you can see the quality is still pretty good here although she's pretty much invisible she there, there you are we can see you now anyway let me know which one you think is better in the dark Hey guys, so we're wrapping it up here of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which you're seeing again, versus the iPhone XS Max. Uh, one thing I don't like about either of these phones is that they both have, uh, they're pre you got to hold them pretty far if you want to get in the video of these, but they're both very good in terms of almost everything. Blurring the background, photography, uh, iPhone XS Max is just missing all those extra features, which I'm sure we're going to see with the upcoming version. There's no wide angle, there's no wide angle video, there's no super steady video. So if you really like to do a lot of, you know, play a lot with the features, you're really into the camera, you're going to like the Note 10 Plus more, I guarantee it to you. But if you just like a natural, quick, good photo, a natural, quick, good video, you'll still really appreciate what the iPhone XS Max has to offer. But if you're going to be vlogging with these phones, you definitely need a selfie, you know, like stick or like a Gorilla Pod or something to extend the phone out because... I got my arm fully extended and my head's still getting cut off a little bit. Look at these arms. Some long arms right there and it's still getting cut off. So anyway, if you guys find this video helpful, entertaining, informing, oh, there's some thorns, uh, enjoyable, go ahead, click the thumbs up for me and let me know which phone you thought actually looked better in this comparison because I, I want to know what you guys thought down below. Catch you all in the next video. Nick, you're up and you're the master of your technology. Thank you for participating. I'll catch you all in the next one.
Be sure to be well and peace.